National Educator. Hello learners, I am teacher Thaddeus Baluka and today I'm teaching you chemistry form 3. Our topic is organic chemistry 1 and the subtopic of today is alkynes. Welcome. Let's look at the lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson today, you should be able to describe the laboratory preparation of ethane gas. Describe the chemical properties of alkynes and describe the test for unsaturation. Let's start by looking at preparation of it alkynes. And alkynes, we're having now alkynes. Alkynes belongs to a group of homologous series with the formula, with the general formula of Cn. H2N uh, minus 2. And our first member of the homologous series is ethane. We are having ethane. We can also have C3H4, uh, which is propyne. So, but we also have butyne, pentyne. And then we need to, according to the confines of our syllabus, we are supposed to know how to prepare in the laboratory ethane. And how do we prepare ethane in the laboratory? Ethane is prepared in the laboratory by reacting water with calcium carbide in order to get uh, calcium hydroxide plus ethane gas. Let's look at the screen. We are saying in the laboratory preparation of ethane, it is prepared by the reaction of water on calcium carbide. The reaction is highly exothermic and a layer of sand is uh, just put above the calcium carbide in the flux. Let's look at the flux, the, the, the diagram. It will be easier for us to be able to have a look at that. We are having water there at the top. Then we are reacting with calcium carbide. So we have calcium carbide from water. The reaction takes place to produce ethane gas, which is collected over water because it is slightly soluble in water. Let's look at the reaction that takes place. We have calcium carbide. It is reacting with water. To produce the product is ethane gas plus calcium hydroxide plus calcium hydroxide. So this is normally a solid, this is a liquid, this is a gas, and of course the calcium carbide can the calcium hydroxide can be solid because it is sparingly soluble in water. So sometimes a book may put aqueous, but it is sparingly it is still insoluble in water, so therefore it is a precipitate. So in this kind of a scenario, let's try to balance the equation. Calcium is one, we only have one calcium atom, uh, the carbon is two, carbon is true. The hydrogen here, they are 2. Here we have 2 plus 2. That is 4. So we put a 2 there. Then the hydrogens are now 4. Oxygens are 2. And on this side, they are 2. So your equation is balanced. Whatever you are writing an equation, it must be balanced. That's the first marking point. And it should, it should must also have the correct state symbols. Those are the fundamental rules of writing an equation. Now, we are saying, let's look at the diagram on the screen. And we are having this diagram. We are reacting water and calcium carbide to get uh, ethane gas and, uh, uh, and calcium hydroxide. Uh, there is a, 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 a precaution there. We have also said that in many a times we may also put some sand. A layer of sand is put in the flask. That layer of sand will help to uh, prevent, or rather the reaction is highly exothermic. So it will prevent the breakage of the flask due to the high temperature. So that's why we may also need to put a layer of sand. The, uh, the gas, this ethane, has some impurities. 
for impurities in the guts.